Hey everyone, what's up? So here's something useful. A custom breakout board for using the ESP07 module for tinkering and testing. This custom board differ from commonly available ESP boards in that it has vertical header pins that allow it to be installed vertically on a breadboard rather than horizontally. This make it easier to save pins, which is helpful while tinkering. The ESP07S is an ESP8266 based module with the same internals as the regular ESP12S or 12F module, which are used in the Node MCU boards. This video is about how this board was built and how it is used. So let's get started. The ESP07S is an ESP8266 10 silica L106 based 32 bit MCU with a 16 bit short mode. Clock speed support 80 MHz, 160 MHz, and support the RTOS, integrated Wi Fi, MAC, BB, RF, PA, LAN, and onboard ULF connector. I had to first read the MCU's datasheet and prepare the PCB footprint for it which involves constructing the pads as described in the datasheet and then placing them according to the pin arrangement. Its operating voltage is between 2.7 volt and 3.3 volt and it work at a frequency of 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. As for its average current, it consumes 60 milliampere at least and 170 milliampere max. It has 11 GPIO pins that can be used as regular IO pins. You can check out its datasheet for more info. Creating the schematic is the first step in the PCB design process. In it, we add ESP07S module and add register to link some of its pin to VCC and some to ground in accordance to with the ESP8266 minimal setup. The enable pin and the GPIO0 pin are both pull up to 3.3 volt in the design and two 10K register are connected to them. Additionally, there's a 10K register between the reset pin and three volt pin and between GPIO 15 and ground. A setup for AMS1117 voltage regulator, an M7 diode and two SMD capacitor of 1UF and 10UF are also added. There's a CON2 header pin that break out each pin for accessing the GPIOs. Two LEDs were also added to the setup in order to test the board. Both LEDs are connected, one to the power in port and other to the D0 pin. After the schematic was complete, I made a PCB with an AMS111 setup, few register and capacitor on one side and the ESP07 module with the reset switch on the other side. After finalizing the PCB and exporting the Gerba data, we send it to PCBWay for samples and place the order for a blue solder mask with white silk screen. I received the PCBs within a week and they were excellent as expected. I love the quality of PCBs made by PCBWay. There are other manufacturers available, but their service is always on another level. Check out PCBWay service for getting great PCB service at a less cost. The SMD components on this PCB are all positioned on the board's top and bottom side. Before starting the top side assembly, we first begin the bottom side assembly. The first step is to add solder paste to each component pad one by one. We then use an ESD tweezer to carefully pick and place all the SMD components in their assigned place one by one. After the pick and place process, we can carefully lift the whole circuit board and place it on my new mini hot plate. This hot plate heats the PCB from below up to the solder paste melting temperature. As a result, the solder paste melt and components get soldered to their pads. One side has been assembled. Now we start the second layer assembly. The top side assembly is similar to the bottom side assembly. We first add solder paste to the components pad and then place the ESP board, LEDs and the SMD switch in their location. This board has component on the bottom side, so the normal hot plate that was previously utilized cannot be used to reflow the components. 
In order to melt the solder paste and solder components to their pad, we use a hot air soldering station, which heats the solder paste from above at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The CON20 vertical header pin is then placed in its proper location and then soldered with a standard soldering iron. The board assembly is now completed. Here is the final result of this build. A development board based on the ESP07S that is so small that it uses only 20 breadboard pins and leave the rest of breadboard free for placement of XYZ components. This board does not currently have a programming IC like CP2102 or FTDI-IC. So let me explain how my plan is to flash the ESP07S module by using my existing Node MCU board. Fun fact, did you know you can use your Node MCU board to program any ESP8266 board? Let me show you how. For programming this board, we could use two methods. We could use an FTDI UART board with the boot mode buttons or use a Node MCU board without adding any boot mode buttons. The method that involves programming the board with the Node MCU is by far the best way to program any ESP32 chip or device. The Node MCU has an onboard CP2102 chip, which is a UART chip for programming the MCU through TX and RX pin. The Node MCU also have the two transistors that put the ESP into boot mode, which is then terminates the manual process of adding external buttons and then pressing them during the upload process. I previously made this programmer board that break out these following pins from the Node MCU board. 3V pin, ground, reset pin, GPIO 0 pin, TX and RX pin. Before the main wiring, we add jumper between the enable pin of the Node MCU and ground. This will put the ESP8266 board of the Node MCU to sleep. And now we can connect an external ESP8266 board with the onboard CP2102 chip. We connect the ESP07 3V ground reset GPIO0 TX and RX pin with the same pin of the Node MCU. First, we connect the Node MCU board header pin to the ESP07 pins in the right order. Next, we open Arduino IDE and plug the USB into the Node MCU board. Then we go to the tool menu and select the board that is being used, which is in this case Node MCU 1.0 board. We select the right COM port and hit upload. To test this board, we first use the Node MCU board technique to upload the fade sketch into the ESP07S board. We load the fade sketch from the example menu in Arduino IDE and then change the LED pin to 0, which is for D0 pin of the ESP07 board. This board has an onboard LED connected to one of the ESP07's IO pin, which is the D0 pin. This is the sketch that I am using. Next, we attach the external U.FL antenna to the ESP07S board built-in UFL connector to extend the range of the ESP board. For the next example sketch, I am going to be using Wi-Fi. So in order to extend the range of this ESP board, I am using this antenna. Here's a simple setup that involves SSD 1306 OLED display and Wi-Fi to display current day and time from the internet. We place the ESP07S breakout board and OLED on a breadboard and then do the following wiring connection. 5V of the ESP07S board to the VCC of OLED display, ground to ground, D5 to SCL and D4 to SDA. After this, we add the main code into the Node MCU and you will see the time and date displaying on the OLED screen. The AMS1117 chip is one feature that I added to this board that allow you to connect any power source up to 15 volts and level down the voltage to 3.3 volts so the ESP07 module can operate because it is a 3.3 volt tolerant device and will short out if provided with voltage higher than 3.3 volt. I connected a 13.3 volt LiFo polymer battery to the ESP07S breakout board VCC and ground port to test thing out. 
Since ESP32 seems functional, we can now monitor the input voltage with a multimeter. 13 volt at V in and 3.3 volt at AMS1117 output pin has been observed. The end result of this build is a super useful ESP8266 ESP07S based board that is capable of driving all sort of power required stuff like driving displays or an LED matrix to play some custom animation or even small project like LED badge. I'm planning to use this ESP07 development board in an upcoming home automation project. I hope this video was helpful and serve as a basic guide for using the ESP07S module. Special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. Do check them out for getting great PCB service at a less cost. I have also prepared few projects on similar topic that you can check out. Thanks again and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.